Belgian main event, one fall, 30 minute time limit for the American tag team title. That's two out of three falls, 30 minute time limit for the American tag team heavyweight title. Introducing first the challenger, presented by Skandar Akbar from Devastation Incorporated, Destroyers number one and number two. And their opponents this evening, first of all, from St. Louis, 225 pounds, the Iceman, King Parsons. And from Arlington, Texas, 232 pounds, Brian Adias. Brian Adias and King Parsons are defending their title. They're the tag team champions. Brasilovich, your referee. Just been informed that regardless of the outcome of this match, as soon as it's over with, immediately there'll be a five-minute match in the ring with the Iceman, King Parsons versus Skandar Akbar. All right, the American Tag Team title is on the line. We've been waiting for this bout. It's Iceman King Parsons. And his defending champion teammate Brian Adias will defend against the Super Destroyers. And you will notice that General Akbar has on his tights underneath that robe. As he will be going against the Iceman, regardless of the outcome, as Joe told you, for five full minutes. And that will come immediately following our third fall. So be ready. We'll get things started with one of the Super Destroyers. Very tough to tell apart. This is the television main event. Best two of three falls. 30 minute time limit here on Championship Sports. Brought to you on the Superstar event of the television KTVT Fort Worth Dallas. Over and down goes Brian and Ian. the cheer from this crowd. Side headlock now on the destroy to his knees. By the way, our television championship bout will return to our show next week as we will be back at the Will Rogers Complex Auditorium. In light of all the title events tonight, we're taking a night off from that and the first and everything will pick up right where we left off next week. This is Wrestling Star Wars from the Tarrant County Convention Center in downtown Fort Worth. If you've just joined us, my name is Mark Lavance. I'm joined at ringside by Ralph Foley and Joe Rinelli. And the action is just now repeating up. There's the knee on Brian and Is and a tag, and here comes the other decision. Ah, oh, Brian was ready. We heard from Gorgeous Jimmy Garvin and Akbar in the previous interview, and look at Brian go. in high gear he's really rolling and the destroyers have their work cut out for them tonight as they challenge for this american tag team title now coming up at the conclusion of the bout we'll have that five minutes with general akbar that will come at the end of the second fall if it goes two straight falls. It will come straight at the end of the third fall if we go three. Squeeze that head, two. Squeeze that head. But whichever fall this bout ends in, whether it be the second or third, we will have that five-minute ice man back bar bout coming come immediately. Come on, Come on. End of the rope, they go right side. To the left, off the rope. The destroyer back. And he is there. The table comes back with a flying elbow, but Brian gets leaped out of the way. And Brian it is continues to hold the momentum. Two, two, two. 
General Akbar's forces are really rolling tonight. We've seen the missing link. We've seen Kamala. We're seeing the destroyers now. And we'll see Akbar himself shortly. Six-man world title coming up, plus other exciting bouts. Keep in mind, the crowd that's here tonight, all 15 or 16,000 of them, the place is full, will be seeing additional main events. And we'll tape them for you at some time in the spring. We'll be showing them to you. Come on, Chief, come on! To the ropes. Iceman got a tag, and here he is. Iceman tagged Brian while he went by. Good kick by the Iceman. It was General Akbar that burned the Iceman's face. This is the night he's been waiting for. Revenge against not only the Super Destroyer, but Akbar himself. Iceman King Barson continues to lock up the Super D that's in the ring. In the corner! There he helps him and good. Across, Iceman stops, looks up, takes it down. One, two, and not quite three. Five minutes. Five minutes go, and the Iceman, one, two. The other destroyer was trying to sneak in, but about that time, the destroyer that was in the pin kicked out. Iceman again, locking up the D as the destroyer tries to push away in the face and head area. The $10,000 held up in escrow, and it'll be like Akbar said, a double or nothing winner take all situation Monday night when Kamala faces Terry Von Earth. In the corner, there's side of this, and Akbar was yelling, look out, but no one heard. Side of this, in on the clean tag. Look out. comes the other destroyer refreshed and ready to go. American Tag Team title action. First ball of the best two and three ball bout. High down and the building just sank about two feet. And there's another footed sank. Here's the count and Brian kicks out. What great resiliency. But again that head is pounded into that knee. Here's the tag, and the destroyer is tagging in and out, getting a man a chance to get a three there. D in the midsection, and the is in trouble, and listen to this crowd. In the far ropes, and the destroyers continue to tag in and out. Here's the tag, and it's from Parsons. Ice fans headbutt to the rope. High and down. Man, he takes care of the other one who was trying to come in. Ice fan. There and wait. Here they are, the hit button. One, two, there is goal number one. Seven minutes and 52 seconds. The winners of the first ball, the Iceman King Parsons and Brian Adias. That's 
that's the first fall. It's not over yet. And you can bank on Akbar and the Superdees having something up their sleeve for fall number two as they try to draw even. From the fabulous Tarrant County Convention Center in downtown Fort Worth, this is Championship Sports. I stand dancing to the fans. There's the bell, and here we go. And the the Super Destroyers are down one fall to none. must draw even. but was able to get in a right of his own and he locks up that head. Uh, nice thinking by Iceman King Parsons. Iceman King Parsons picking right up where he and Brian left off in that first ball. Joe Luby's warning that other super destroyer in the back side of the ring. There's General Akbar. And there's no telling what he is speaking about right now. Nice man at his feet. Next week on our show, we'll be visiting you, to you folks in Waco also about excitement coming your way. The destroyer reaching across there. There's the tag, and in he will come. Iceman up the other, and it's there. Iceman hops across one and was ready for the other. This is such a fabulous facility, and it's great to see it full again tonight, as we really have the crowd here. And they are really seeing their money's worth. I don't know of a more complete and enjoyable evening's entertainment than professional wrestling. It's not an hour and a half long like a lot of your movies are nowadays, but a full night's entertainment for all ages. Come on, dude. To the ropes they are. Left side, Ice Man across with a leap frog. Back, there's the drop kick, and now it goes the destroyer. Here's the tag, in comes Brian, it is to the drop kick. Some of the bouts this crowd in person will be seeing tonight include world champion Michael Hayes facing Michael Von Erich with that 10 minute time limit and stipulation. Stick with the plan now, stick with the plan. And listen to that other destroyer yelling, stick with the plan. Well, the so they'll be seeing the American heavyweight championship out inside the steel cage with the girls inside that cage. And we'll be showing you these and the other bouts of the fans in person will see, hopefully on future dates as part of our nightly tape features here on Championship Sports. Brian holding on to that headlock and the destroyer forcing him back in the corner. There's Brian Spinney coming off. One, two, but there's the other destroyer just as the other one kicks out. Caught Brian had him there. Very close to a two straight fall victory. And that would have been highly unusual in the title bout. Super Destroyer number two right now against Brian it is. Come on, two, They don't know these men's identities. They wear masks. And they make a great team. For the entire arsenal of capabilities highlighted by that superplex. Iceman King Parsons make a team. The Iceman's agility, his strength, Brian and his ever-growing experience and basic talent. A great matchup. And Brian forcing his weight against that destroyer, preventing him from getting over close enough to make the tag. Come 
Step one, two. But again, the destroyer tanks up. Five minutes gone in fall number two. I span it to the if one, the first fall. The destroyers must win this one to force the third fall. Ten minutes. Back bar and I span. Come on, come on, man. Stick with the plan now. Stick with the plan. And listen to that destroyer yelling again. To the far rope. There he is. Turn around and say hello. Here's the ice band. There's that roundhouse. Blow by the ice band. The destroyer is down in the corner. Across they go. The destroyer hits the ring, shakes, and he falls in a heap. Great cards coming up this week as the Iceman continues. I'll be telling you more about the Sportatorium and Will Rogers as our show continues. For the six-man bout, that'll be Friday. There's a kick from the destroyer from the rope. And Agbar has him stay right in there and keep the momentum. But, oh, boy, did he throw Iceman down. Here's the tag. The other destroyer, number one, comes in at a perfect time. From the rope. Down comes the Iceman. Two, three, we're even. The win is the second fall in seven minutes and 12 seconds. The Super Destroyers. One fall remaining, we're all even as the Destroyers. That picks up fall number two. And the third fall will be our deciding fall. And we'll be back for it in just a moment. Ring the bell, we got one now and Come on, get out of here, get out of here. And the destroyer is now feeling their oats after a second fall victory. Uh, ready to go, Super D number one against Iceman now. This is for all the marbles, third in deciding fall. Don't forget, we'll be seeing Akbar and Iceman coming up. Here we are. Look out. One holds on, and the other one comes off the rope. And Iceman in trouble. The title is at stake. Here comes number two. Across that center rope, Iceman being choked. And it comes out. The destroyer picks him back up for more punishment. To the corner. The destroyer right there. The Iceman most especially has been waiting for this. And he would hate to lose this title tonight. Lying there. Iceman down. Across the back. Super D number one with that bear hug. The 
Sawyer would like a submission here. The Iceman reaching for his teammate. Bronco Lewis combining and he must keep feet on the ring. Here's the clean tag and number two is in. A drive from the right side. And the Destroyers have got the momentum here in the late part of this bout. Destroyer wants a tag and he got it. Here he comes while the other one held on and the Iceman has fallen. Over that top rope. This may be that superplex. Look out. Yeah. Both men are dazed. Both men hit hard. Here's the tag. Here's Brian Anderson. He got a tag with the ice man after the super flex. Up and over. Here's it is to the far side. I thought it was all over. But Brian got the tag in. Justin. Ice man is still down, but Brian Anderson is really going. On the rope, the shoulder. Iceman is still hurting. Near side, leapfrog. Here's the air stone, but the destroyer catches him with a vicious foot that knocks him all the way down. Two, three. In four minutes and 53 seconds, the new heavyweight tag team champion. Destroyers, Super Destroyers, number one and two. And now we've got five minutes of Skandar Akbar and King Carson, five minutes. Notice how quickly Akbar moves in. The Iceman still hurts from that superplex. And Akbar wasted no time, and this five minutes is underway. And Akbar, seeing an opportunity, no break, no nothing. Akbar in his tights and ready. And Iceman still feeling the brunt of that superplex is down and hurting, and Akbar is all over him. The five minute revenge bout. The revenge that Iceman wanted. Is in jeopardy here. He was hurt from that superplex, and Akbar wasted no time in taking over. And with a body slam, Iceman is down. Better than one minute is shown. Joe and will be keeping it up for us every 30 seconds. One and a half minutes gone, three and a half remaining. Akbar continuing to punish the Iceman. We went down to that superplex, and all the Adidas came in. The Destroyers hung in there and won the title. And Akbar was there like lightning. Two minutes gone, three minutes remaining. General Akbar showing us what he's made of here. Keep in mind that five minutes started immediately when the bout was over, and we're better than two minutes into this now. Less than three minutes remaining, and it's all General Akbar. The five minutes started just as soon as that title bout ended. Two and a half minutes gone, same amount of time remaining. And the destroyers are hanging around and rooting for Akbar. Probably the only two in the building that are. And the Iceman 
down and hurt from that superplex. Just can't seem to find it. It's been all Akbar. Three minutes gone, two minutes remaining. But the ice fan showing signs of life. Gets him with a headbutt, but he's still hurting. Ice fan now, listen to this crowd. They're leaping to their feet. And Akbar, for the first time in this five minute session, is worried. In the midsection. Three minutes gone, two minutes remaining. Two minutes left. Two minutes remaining. There's the knee, and Akbar is not finished yet. Akbar, the man that burned the face of Iceman King Carson. It's revenge time for the Iceman. But he came into this down after that superplex that's been tough. And Akbar getting back in the driver's seat. One minute remaining, four minutes have gone, one left, one minute left. Back bar. Iceman's got it, looks like he has a, looks like he had his finger in his mouth. And the Iceman on his knees. King Carson. 30 seconds remaining. A half a minute. He's wanted this so badly and only 30 seconds remaining. Brian Elias gets his shot in. 15 seconds remaining. Ice Man is really rolling. He's punishing Akbar, choking him now. The destroyer is trying to pull him out. They knock Ice Man away. Iceman still got Akbar, but the five minutes is up. The bell is sounded. Five, five minutes, minutes are up. And it was unfortunate that the Iceman got caught at a bad time when Akbar moved in so quickly after that superplex because it took the Iceman about three minutes before he could really get it going again. But he made Akbar pay at least for that last minute or so. And I know Iceman will be bitterly disappointed that the revenge was not more fruitful. So, as the fans cheer for Iceman King Carson, let me remind you that coming up next, we'll be talking to Kevin Carey, Mike Von Erich, and many others, and then we'll be back for the World Six Man.